Hey, welcome back. My name is Al, and today we are talking about one button that you can click to make your animations or your still images more realistic. We've got this cool little animation, chest piece sliding over and jumping. What we're going to look at is the image sequence that I created for the first jump. So I'm just going to scrub through the footage so this is not rendered at 24 frames a second or anything. But as you can see, chess pieces come over and go like this. Now, this is awesome. Obviously, this is a stylized thing. Chess pieces don't actually do this in real life, but there's still some realism that we can add to this. So let's take a look at the same animation where I have clicked one button and there's a huge difference. So same animation, big difference. What do you notice? Right, it's pretty obvious. This one has motion blur. And literally in one click, I can get this. Now, why is motion blur important? Cameras have a refresh rate on the screen, they have a shutter speed on the camera, and it films with motion blur. So things that move fast are a little bit blurry. But the same thing happens with our eyes. Don't believe me? Wave your hand in front of your screen and you're going to see your fingers just be blurry, right? Or a fast car zooming down the street. There's this blur that happens. Let me show you where that one click is. So this is in our render settings. We are under the Arnold Renderer tab and it's under motion blur. Literally, you just click enable. You can play with the settings if you'd like. This is the only thing you need to do to get increased realism in your animation. But it doesn't stop there. So let's say you don't actually have an animation. So let's say you no longer have an animation. You just want a still image of this chess piece just falling. Let's pretend like this would be animated. It would be falling. I want to set one keyframe here, and then I can play with how much motion blur I want based on you know how quickly this object moves. I'm going to do five frames for this example. He's going to be moving this far. So this is very fast. If I were to play this, that's how fast it is. And let's just get somewhere in the middle where it was falling. So although I might just be doing a still image, go to my render settings, Arnold Renderer, click enable. Let's just render this one frame. Boom, we have our motion blur. Now that motion blur is probably way too much. So what I can do is change this frame. Let's say, all right, let's let that happen. Let's take three times as long to do that same action. So instead of in five frames, we would get something like this. Let's go roughly in the middle, render that frame. You can see the motion blur is less. It's not as crazy. One thing to note when you have motion blur, right, we have this blurriness. So you might need to increase your camera anti-aliasing, your camera AA. That way that motion blur can just be super crisp, super clean and not very grainy. 